Hey guys, this is Danish from jobscreenshare.org. Um, today, let's talk about that video that I usually make these videos about either motivating people or be very realistic with them. So I think it's gonna be very realistic video with some motivational, uh, you know, comments. Don't take it back. I mean, don't take it like you know offensive, please. I'm trying to like tell you something that I feel, uh, you know, which is true. Uh, so here it is. Some of you are, you know, uh, thinking that I'm not ready. I'm not ready. You know, I take this one course or two courses and I'm not ready. Um, then you take four or five courses. You, you see, you're still saying I'm not ready. You get the, the confidence level is low, and you're thinking that it is it, some very difficult task to go and apply for these jobs, these entry-level IT jobs that I'm talking about. And you're thinking you're still not ready. You're still not ready, and then you lose your you know interest in it for a little while and then you come back and there's a lot of things updated there's new courses there's new materials in it and then you start from scratch again and then you keep going into this cycle and then after five months or four months you talk to yourself what if I have started this four months ago man I would have been done by now I would have gotten a job I would have had some experience on my hand and you keep doing that till it's too late you keep doing that till it's too late. You really can't do this. I mean, if you want to succeed, if you want to go up, you want to apply for these jobs, you're spending that little amount of time that, that you know, you just, I mean, it's just like, don't say that. Don't say that you're not ready, okay? Like I said, people have landed these jobs without any education certification related to IT and then they are doing so well right now they're just you know in heaven right now basically if you have like I said if you have this formula that we have created for you I call it a formula now I call this like you know when I made my first video on YouTube I made a six-step formula and that's how this whole thing started basically you know so this formula that I'm making right now is only take these three courses. I'm gonna put it in my description. Step one, take the help desk ticketing system course. Ticketing system course. Step two, Active Directory user management course. Step three, take Office 365 administration course. Step four is going to be, when, when you're done with step three, you should be applying. You should be applying, trust me. By that time, your mind is open, your mind is kind of like, you know, okay, this is what it is in technology, in these IT support positions. It's not really much. I mean, after that, I'm going to learn it hands-on. So the fourth step is to take that help desk um, uh, entry level to specialist course. Now, in future, we're going to make another small help desk entry level course, and that's not going to say specialist in it. Um, that's going to say just help desk entry level. And that's going to be a mini version of this big course. And that's going to be a complete four steps for you guys. But for now, you can take it. You can take the three steps. Take the three courses in the description below. Start applying. And take the course with it that help this entry level the specialist course. So then if you land a job, let's say you land a job, you already know the process. The process is like, you know, you got a ticket. You don't, you need to assign it to someone. That's kind of like they expect from you in the, in the beginning. Like, you know, that should be... That's, that's something normal, like people would like, that's your job, you know. The rest is like, the actual directory is more a little technical. A adding a user, deleting a user, resetting their password, they're getting a call, they got locked out, you unlock them. You know, uh, they change the department, you change their title. These type of calls are normal and very basic and they're just copy-paste kind of things, you know. Third one is Office 365 administration is something new. A lot of people are going through this uh, technologies and and something else could be similar to this so you're working on the same stuff in office 365 you know emails you know people uh, want to create an email group uh, want them to add to the group delete them from the group remove them from the group add a contact all this kind of stuff is basic level stuff so these three courses if you do it I know it sounds crazy for some people like, oh my God, you know, I have to go to two years college to learn this and then come back here and then nobody talked about ticketing system. I mean, they spent two years in a college, hands on, and nobody talked about ticketing systems. I mean, I have so many emails right now. People are telling me, oh, oh my God, I'm taking this course. I love this course because I go to the interview and they talk about ticketing system, assigning calls, and I'm like, what? 
I thought they were going to talk to me about like, you know, hard drives or some, uh, you know, computer building or something like that. That's not the case in a corporate level or business level IT. People don't do that. People usually call Dell. I mean, yes, you do this some, sometimes, but trust me, this, this is not a normal day-to-day -day kind of job. You know, like you will be uh, taking apart computers and putting it back. You know, you won't have that kind of time. Trust me, you will call your Dell guy and they'll come and change the screen for you. They'll, they'll do things for you. But most of the calls are process type calls you know you get the calls you assign it to people you get these these active directory calls and it could be similar to active directory everybody uses something like i mean active directory is like probably the, the major one that for any help this position um, but you know people could be using something else and there could be similar type of account type issues adding them to stuff so please don't give up these three courses can be done in a week can be done in a week even less than a week if you're like you know motivated and you're working on these labs and stuff less than a week don't spend two years i'm sorry i gotta just uh tell the realistic thing i'm done with this thing you know i'm, I'm the entry level position are, are they're not supposed to be two years of education on here i'm sorry that that's just waste of time uh and i i just have to i would say realistic no that's not that's not right and let's just admit it if you don't admit it that's your personal choice but you know I have seen people, they don't spend two years for uh, landing an entry-level IT support job, okay? Um, or else they would have said that in, a, in our US, uh, which is like, you know, the, what's that, Labor Bureau or something like uh, site, I, I have it on my site, I think it's bls.gov, they would have they would have put it in there that you need a bachelor's or you need a two years degree, college degree for this job, they don't, so why, why people are, you know, saying this, you know, you need to go to these colleges just to make money big money you know twenty twenty five thousand dollars just to land an entry-level job is just crazy um <laughs> anyways uh so that was to kind of like motivate you know like kind of be realistic to you that why why are you saying this like i'm not ready you're ready you're all ready you just you just need to build your confidence and apply 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 think about it if you finish these three four courses that i'm just gonna put in the description right now and you keep applying at least you'll go to the interview and you will learn something new. Maybe I have not covered that. Maybe I have not covered the, the like, you know, type of interview questions they don't have in this course, like behavioral type of questions that people ask. And and those, these type of things you'll learn when you go to the interviews. And let's say you fail the interviews, that's fine. You're going to do really good in the other interview because sometimes failure can lead to success because that's kind of like, why, why did this person did not pick me? Like, I mean, I'm pretty good. I can learn stuff. So I'm going to go and apply to a better better uh, organization. I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it until I land a job. If you don't, trust me, people, it's just like, you know, time is just moving. I mean, I've been talking about this stuff five years ago. Go back to my videos. Go back to my videos and go back to 2011 and 2010. I'm, I'm talking the same thing. And if people have picked up, then they're in in a in a great position right now they're doing really good if you are still thinking that i'm gonna uh, it's not gonna work i'm gonna go to college two years after two years you come back and you're like you realize that whatever i was talking about is there is no it's like a real thing if this is these are the courses these are the the real world stuff in it there's really no rocket science in it so you will realize that you know you kind of wasted your twenty thousand dollars or i don't know however much you even if it's a thousand dollar, you know, that's a lot of money. We only, uh, you know, our courses, main courses are free. Four of them are free for you to learn. Learning is free. I mean, some of these four courses I'm talking, I'm not talking about special courses there. And even if you get the certificate from us, which is $1.99 a month. $1.99 a month. Okay? I'm not even going to go to the money thing, you know, you know better. So, thank you for watching this video. I know I get a little excited, but you know, sometimes it's just seeing my own friends saying this, you know, like, I'm not ready. You are ready. Go ahead and apply.